Come on for House of the King of the South. Mm-hmm. Sucks. They don't have this in California. I don't. Mm -mm. You gotta go to Denny's out there. Ah, Denny's. <laughs> Welcome back, Pompon Gang, to another Pompon Sisters YouTube channel. If you are new to our channel, hey, how you doing? Hope you are being blessed and safe. So, are blessed and safe. Point down, this is where the subscribe button will be. <laughs> I can't remember if it's, I think it's on my side. Either, we just got pointed point above. <laughs> so, don't forget to hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out more of our videos. So we are back again with a breakfast and a story because last time we did a dinner and a story, but since it's morning time and we're eating breakfast food, we're coming with a breakfast and a story. So the theme of this topic um, for this video is gonna be the 10 things I hate about you. That's a lot of things. There's probably more things that I hate, but I can't think of them right now. I had a hard time coming up with my list too, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have 10. How many do you have? Like three? Really? Four. Really? Yeah. I feel like I'm a lot more annoying than that. You are. <laughs> I kinda wanna hear yours first, you go first. I go first? Yeah, you go well, first. I'm gonna go first. No, I don't wanna go first. I wanna see, so we didn't tell each other what we wrote down. What? Hmm, nothing. Oh, nothing. Yeah, we didn't tell each other what we came up with, so this will all be like pretty. I'm pretty sure some of the stuff that you have might be obvious, but I feel like some of the stuff I have might not be obvious. It's just nitpicking stuff. It is. It's really like, of course, we love each other. We've been married for forever and been together for like the beginning of time, so. Yeah, you just lot. gonna have to deal with it regardless <laughs> yeah. if you hate it or not at this point. So, um, yeah, go first. You go first. Why do I gotta go first? You just do one of yours first. No, I don't want to do mine first. Now I'm kind of like, all of them, just one. Just one of them? All right, hold on. I know you got an order. I do have a <laughs> mail. <laughs> all right, so one of the things, it's not like a big deal, but. I, I hate that you shave your armpits. I haven't shaved my armpits in a while. You time. have it, but <laughs> like occasionally you would shave your armpits and then I'm walking around wolfing it <laughs> and it would just make me feel bad. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I get bored in the shower. <laughs> I, was, I haven't even done that in a long time. Yeah, that was, it popped up as one of my, like, why? <laughs> I figured I'd start light and then get heavy. Oh, okay. It ain't nothing heavy on there, but it might be. I don't know. It depends on how you take it. Yeah. That's not something I hate. It's just annoying. Nah, I don't know. Yeah. It's whatever. But, yo, take off your jewelry and just leave it any freaking way in the house. <laughs> I'm always putting it away. <laughs> You don't put it away. Yes, I do. You just give it to me and talk to mm -hmm. That's not putting it away. Well, you put it away. Okay, but that's it's not you. No, it's, it's not you it putting it away. It's, it might as well be. No, it's Sometimes not. Sometimes I do. Sometimes you do what? You put, put you it take away. it upstairs and put it on my jewelry thing. No, you I don't. I put it on the uh, dresser. That's not that putting room? it away. That's it just is. placing it somewhere else that I no, could have just there, randomly you placed it. jewelry up there too. No, I don't have no jewelry up there. my jewelry. That's a broken necklace. That's not where my jewelry goes though. How they went there. Yeah, he's right. Like taking my earrings and my jewelry off is like taking my bra off when I come home. Like, oh yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate that, but look at him bra on the damn couch. Past couple days. Oh, uh, I hate wearing a bra. Like, and I don't even have no big old titties. So I know, like, women with big ones, they probably be like exhausted. I hate, I hate wearing a bra. And then recently, like this year, I started wearing the little pill-on, like sticker bras, like pasties and stuff like that. And it's just so free feeling. Like, oh my gosh, like I will never go back to probably wearing a bra. The only reason why I'm wearing 
a bra is because I'm back at work and you know, that's kind of like mandatory that you come to work with a bra on, so. But yeah, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'd snatch it off and it'll be in the kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, our kids are everywhere too. Kaylani's right here. She eating. Wanna come say hi? Look. Uh, special guest. Yep. All right, get out of here. Never. My second thing that I hate about you, um, that you don't fold laundry. <laughs> it so legit my, takes so him a month to fold laundry. My third thing is, she don't fold my laundry. <laughs> Bruh, did this man just say I don't fold his laundry? His laundry. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, man. No, man. I should fold your laundry? I fold everybody else's laundry. No, I'm not folding your laundry. Hey. This is the worst chore ever. So you can play about my bras chilling out <laughs> on the couch, but you be having your drawers chilling out and all y'all weeks worth of <laughs> They're still clean. I just take them off and leave them there. <laughs> it don't matter. It's still sitting out there. Okay, and they smell fresh. <laughs> I'm glad you just improvising your I hate list. You got to. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got ten over there. <laughs> okay. All right, my number three. This one, uh, I'm probably gonna be dealing with this for the, till the day I die, but you don't never put that, like ever. Like as far as the fridge in the garage, you don't never put that. Never put that. Like I'll go in there and reorganize the entire fridge or the entire garage, and then I can come back tomorrow. What I don't do in the fridge. In the fridge? You just anywhere in there. Where it fits. <laughs> I gotta make it fit in there. Sometimes they don't they don't want to go back the way I want it to. I don't know why. Oh, and that brings me to even the dishes. Like when you put away the dishes, that's why I make you just wash them and I'll put them away. Cause like I feel like it, this is common sense. Like if you have a pot set where you have the big pot, medium pot, and a little saucepan, you put those in the order. So that's you can, that is not too much work. It saves so much room in the cabinet and I don't have to go clink, 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 trying to dig for a bunch of pots. I have to go clink, clink, clink just to put it away. Okay, versus me having to pull it out. And, and I got to pull out half the cabinet just to get one pot. She used to get on me for not throwing my food away or stuff on my plate, but she always leaves stuff on her plate. No. When did I used to get on you for that? A long time ago. That's probably when I used to wash the dishes. Now that I don't wash dishes, I don't give a damn no more. Yeah. You can put them in yeah, there however don't. you want to, because he washed them. I just put them away. She'll, she'll have a plate like this in the sink. <laughs> now you just OD I mean, <laughs> Putting all that in there. You really do. <laughs> whole freaking plate. Bones and everything. No, it don't. Well, the bones probably do be on there. Yeah. That's probably about it. packed lunch and had a container in the sink with all the food in it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> that was on my list. <laughs> did you bring in that dish? <laughs> He's right about that. I'll eat a sandwich and sometimes I don't finish the sandwich. So I just throw it back in the container. And when I get home, I just throw the whole container in the sink. I do not yeah. throw none of the food out. Never empty. Oh man, you're right about that. It's never empty. All right, my next one. This one's recent. Uh -huh. He'll never put air in the tires. <laughs> like never. Like he he will drive around Fayetteville with a flat tire. In my defense, he won't never do it. I always put air in the tire. You look around and that was just one blows. time. That, yeah, that was this this time. But no, never puts air in the tire. I had to fight with him to put gas in the car. Now that's a whole freaking chore for him for some reason. I don't know how or why. I, I wait till it's on E and blinking. <laughs> Which one's yours, baby? You got orange juice? Mm -hmm. you go. I wait till it's on E and blinking and five mm -hmm. miles left before. Yeah, that's ridiculous. There should be no reason why I'm getting in the car and the car is on E. Cause we kind of like switch out with driving. We only have one family car. So 
I get in a car and I'm forced to put gas in because my anxiety just can't handle a blinking gaslight while I'm driving to go pick up my girls from I know the my car. So. I don't care if you know it. Put some flip flopping gas in there. Another one. What number am I on? I have no clue. I think we just lost him. We're just going in on each other <laughs> at this point. <laughs> um, she don't like throwing the trash away. What trash? Anything you open up and leave it on the counter. <laughs> trash cans, right? Trash cans right here. <laughs> like I should have. There was something on the counter the other day. I should have just left it to the day. Look, no, because uh, I no, I just cleaned off the mm -hmm. counter today. Still been there. No, it wouldn't have. Yes, it would have. I just cleaned it off. I, I I'm I don't believe that one. You don't believe that mm -hmm. one? Okay. I'm recording when she do it. <laughs> Trash cans legit right there. It really She'll is. stand right there. <laughs> throw the trash right on the counter. <laughs> and, and walk, walk off. Away. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. My next one. He'll never wipe down if he cook. I've been doing that lately. No, you haven't. Because you made some eggs and you left oil all over the freaking stove. No, you did, and I wiped it off. I guess I didn't wipe it very well. Oh, oh, well, okay, we'll go with that too. Still not wiping it now. Yeah, if he washes wash dishes, you know, sometimes when you're taking the dishes out the sink to move it to the dishwasher so it can dry in the dishwasher or whatever, we do that. Don't, you know, or whatever. And sometimes the water will like drip on the counter. He'll leave a puddle of water on the counter. So I'll go and sit something down on the counter, and I pick it up, and it's soaking wet. Never wipes it down. Yeah, look counter air dry never what the counter doesn't air dry you wipe it down oh. same thing for cooking like never put and won't put shit up back like he'll use a seasoning garlic salt will sit out on the counter for two weeks if i let it that goes back to never putting shit back where he's supposed to go you're doing a lot of cussing in this video <laughs> yeah my <laughs> <laughs> sorry cussing is just my second language Hope no one takes offense. Last time somebody got very upset with me that I cussed a lot. In front of my mama. Oh yeah, they were mad. They was really mad. I'm like, this is my house. Like, this is my sanctuary. I say whatever the mm -hmm. I want to. Mm -hmm. I pay the bills in this house. When I was little, she always told us, my house, my rules. Well, my house, my rules. Dude. I mean, I love my mom. I respect her, she but. Pays the bills, but it's my money. Why we gotta bring up? <laughs> why, why we gotta bring that up, huh? Oh, uh, okay. I said it like, you choose all you. <laughs> I got the nerve to be wearing a prey shirt. <laughs> I'm doing all this cussing. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <Pray> me. <laughs> all right, so. Next one, this one I never really vocalized much, but since we doing this video, I feel like we're gonna go ahead and put it out in the air. Uh -oh. So, I hate it when you smack my ass. Just, it never really sits right with me when you smack my ass for some reason. Especially when we're out in public. Like, I don't know why I just feel so degraded when you do it. I mean, I know you, you like my ass, so that's all fine and dandy. Nice. I, I appreciate that you love my ass, but I, don't smack it in public. Yeah, smack my ass. Yeah, at home. No, you be doing it everywhere too. Yeah, because you do it. Cause, so I'm trying to make you feel <laughs> how I feel when you do it in public. How you be like, ah, stop. Like, that, that's kind of how I be feeling too. No, it's payback. Yeah, it is. Okay. But I do it more at home than I do it out in public like i don't i don't mind it too much at home if i'm in the mood for it no, but out in public no <laughs> i do not i do not out in public yeah no i don't i don't care for you like just randomly just smack my ass if you want to caress it like a nice um, oh i could definitely do that <laughs> like this no <laughs> I ain't got anything else right now. You got anything else right now? Nothing right now. Okay, I'm gonna keep on going. Go ahead. All right, this one. I'm pretty sure I've said it before, but 
it's more of a pet peeve but he eats rice with everything I'm Filipino like there's so many different other sides besides rice and then the rice is just plain like so, it ain't like it's babe, like I'm loyal <laughs> loyal to rice I'm just a loyal person you, you don't, don't have to have anything else I just be real rice <laughs> No, nah, I do eat rice with everything though. Everything, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Like when I first met him, like, like he's gotten a little bit better. Now he'll at least like go for corn or some broccoli and green beans. That that's that's about as far as it goes, as far as side items. Maybe some fries. All you need is rice. Uh, no, no, no. There's so many other things than just rice. You go to my dad's house, I bet you he has. Well, I'm pretty rice, sure. Like, Cook 24 /7. I'm pretty sure he does. But Yeah, I don't even have that 24-7. And you be trying. You be shooting for it. You want to. Until I like, nah, we gonna eat something else other than rice. Like there's mashed potatoes, there's mac and cheese. Like there's other starches besides rice. Rice goes with everything. Mashed potatoes goes with everything. Mm -hmm. Nah. Mm-hmm. Not with rice. Mashed potatoes is delicious. And it, they're a whole lot more seasoned, and you can have them all different kind of ways. Potatoes is just an awesome starch, period. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's better than rice. No. Yeah, no. yeah. Potatoes is no. the best starch. You're crazy. Not at all. I'm pretty sure potatoes will outwin rice. Outwin. Or out, yeah, whatever. Nope. I'm pretty sure it'll win over rice. Definitely not. We gotta hold a poll on here. Who mm -hmm. would you rather have potatoes? as your side dish for every meal for the rest of your life or would you prefer to have rice 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 and rice and wins. and no no rice does not win rice does win no not at all yes potatoes can be you can have fries you can have fried potatoes you can have you can have rice rice <laughs> i i hate the way you tell a story <laughs> <laughs> like, I hate when he tells any kind of story that, oh my gosh, it legit takes him like 10 minutes to finally get the story out. And I'm just sitting there like, I don't forgot what we was even talking about. And then what's crazy is our oldest daughter, Kalia, tells the story. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just like <laughs> this is annoying. So it legit takes her like 10 minutes to tell me one thing that happened at school today. <laughs> she, she's just slow and it just stutters all, like it just takes her forever to come up with a thought process yeah while i'm just fast and i talk fast and i'm just like hair, trying to hurry up and get the story out and then he'll still ask what i what did i because i guess i moved too fast his brain can't comprehend what i just said oh no we just found out that men only listen with one earlobe or some mess like that or one part of their brain yeah. Yeah. I think it's the left side. Yeah. Men only li listen with one half of their brain while women uh, use both sides of the brain to comprehend what somebody's saying. So in case, you know, any other married couple are having problems where their husband just don't listen, it's because they only using half of their brain when you talking to them anyway. I remember one. Mm. When, when she has a bad day, it really shows. Like this, this. Mm, I mean, like <laughs> it's I, just there. Like as soon as you see her, you can just tell. Let me not talk to her today. <laughs> I'm a very to emotional per person. Like I wear my emotions on my sleeve. Like no, I don't know how to hide having a bad day. And you I feel like it, but you that. That, no, like that, that's unhealthy. You, if I'm feeling some type of way, yeah, you're gonna see how I'm feeling. Like, why would, like, what am I supposed to do? It's, I can talk to her all day on the phone, and she'll be all happy, and as soon as she get home, yeah, I'll be exhausted. Yes, uh, that, I'll be exhausted because at work, I have to be fake I, and phony I and be on the phone with her. All smiles. And she's pulling up to the driveway. <laughs> that, see, to now you, just, you are OD. It and don't then, even okay, be like bye. that. Then I come to the car door <laughs> to help her get her stuff. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> See, you just ODing at this point. Yeah, you are. It don't be that exaggerated. I do be like, it's uh, something about pulling into the driveway. Like, my whole, like, everything just shuts down. Because I've been, uh, like, I don't know. It's just something about having to put on a smile and be energetic and just work is exhausting. So when I finally pull up home where I don't have to be overly, like, you know, in everybody's face or whatever, like, I, all that, yeah, that, that mood completely changes. I'm not gonna lie. I do come home and I'm just like, yeah, I'm over today. I like, don't. I got another one. And I know everybody knows this. <laughs> everybody feels this. About me or? No. Uh, Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> you never know what you wanna eat. Like, why we gotta bring that up? I didn't know what I wanted to eat for breakfast. I said waffle house. No, you didn't. I said, you hungry? You want some waffle house or something? And I said, yeah. That meant I knew what I wanted. I gave her a choice. Okay, I so. Her a choice. I told her. I pretty much said, you want waffle house. No, that you didn't. That wasn't even a question. No, really. you didn't. It was, you want waffle house. <laughs> <laughs> I want a question. It was rhetorical. <laughs> and if I would have said, nah, I want waffle house, then what? Yeah, would we wouldn't home, have been eating, eating no waffle house. <laughs> You send me a bunch of for the girls. <laughs> oh my goodness. You be picking like the nastiest places. Like he knows I hate Taco Bell. So he'll be like, oh, let's get some Taco Bell. Like, you know, hell, I do not like no Taco Bell. Nasty Taco Bell. That is the nastiest fast food chain like ever. Yeah, it's not very good. At all. Especially ours. I'm pretty sure none of them are. Food's never fresh there. Like what? What? What's, what's fresh about it? Like everything come out of a bag and it's microwave there. I'm pretty sure. I don't think anything is like actually cooked there. Mm. Like, I don't even think they have a grill. I don't think. I don't think they have a stove. I think everything is legit out of a microwave. They don't even have an oven. It probably is. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure everything's out of a microwave. Mm. Yeah, I've never worked there, but I just feel like. What they offering on that menu, all that mess is probably coming straight out of a microwave and out of a bag, already pre-prepared. Like, we gonna eat Taco Bell. I'm a, I, I would rather just go to the grocery store, pick up some ground meat and some taco shells and Taco Bell, okay? that That is a whole lot better than what they be serving. Taco Bell is disgusting. Yeah, I heard your stuff comes in a bag. Yeah. Their, um, their meat. Yeah. They just warm it up. They just warm it up, see? I'm pretty sure they ain't grounded nothing up in there. Now, if it was like that, then you know, I probably would tolerate it a little bit more. But nah, that place is disgusting. And then they got the nerve to be like charging. Oh yeah, yeah. Like 20 bucks on two combos? Yeah, at Taco Bell, honey, bye. Not at no Taco Bell. Like I, re like, I was okay with Taco Bell when I was spending like $5 for like yeah, a family I meal. <laughs> like, I was okay with Taco Bell then. But now that I realize I'm spending like just as much there at Sonic and Sonic is actually fresh food, like, yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, Taco Bell's trash. Trash, straight trash. So another one, now this one's kind of serious. Um, I, I hate that you like talk down on my parenting. Oh. Yeah. That was one of mine. Was it? <laughs> I'll be talking down on your parenting? No. Oh you, oh, you were saying that my parenting was something that you hate? No, just how tough you are. Like, I feel like you're so lenient. Like, somebody gotta be tough. Like, the world is just not like sunshines and rainbows. And I just feel like they're girls and they're pretty girls. Like, the world is gonna take advantage of that. And I wanna prepare them for the worst. Like, I don't know. And, and it could be because that's how my mom was with me. Like, she was like tough love. Like, it's tough. I, I am tough. I will say that. I admit I am very tough when it comes to parenting, but I'm trying to prepare them for the world crushing all of their dreams. Like, it ain't gonna come easy. Just because you're pretty don't mean you're gonna get away with everything. Like, like you need to work hard. And yeah, I don't, I don't like that you make it seem like I'm doing it wrong. Like, I don't feel like there's a right or wrong way. Like, everybody has their no, own different. No right like yeah, parenting style but yeah. don't talk down on moms like I'm it's not, not effective I, just, I don't like it 
I'm not talking down on it. I understand it. No, I feel like you'd be like, 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 like recently it was Kehlani. So Kehlani is trying to read and I, I'm gonna go ahead and say this now. I ain't nobody's teacher. I, I am far from a teacher. I don't have the patience for it. And what kills me with Kehlani trying to learn how to read is I know Kehlani knows the information. I know she knows what she's doing, but she'll play this role like, oh, I don't know. And she'll think these tears that she's crying is gonna stop me from you know, telling her she gotta read. Like, no, nah, bro, you still gonna have to learn to read. So, um, one day we were gonna have Khalid Kehlani make some cinnamon rolls for breakfast for the girls. So we asked her, or Christian, Christian was working with her. He was like, hey, read the instructions so you can see how to make the cinnamon rolls. And um, she immediately just starts crying, like just off the bat. And he was just so, oh, please, you know, stop crying. You know, you, it's all right. Like, I mean, patting <laughs> her up, patting her up. And I mean, granted, I do lose my temper. I do know when I lose my temper. So I do try to back down if I know I'm about to lose my temper and smack her upside the head. But it's just irritating because she won't even try to do anything. Like, it's like pulling teeth with her. So I had to like sit down like, look, chick, like you gonna have to learn how to read. Like it is inevitable. You gonna have to learn to read to, to survive in this world. You crying ain't gonna change the fact that you still gonna have to learn how to read. And you, you know, so I, I'm just like losing my mind while he's just over there, you know, why are you crying, Kelani? It's okay. I just need you to read. Like, and I'm just like, like I wanna take choke out of both of them. So I'm just like, no, like, Stop crying. Crying is not going to solve anything. And I feel like with Kehlani, she feels like, oh, if I cry, and she knows she's pretty. Kehlani, there's no humility in Kehlani. Like, she knows she cute and she pretty and she can get away with stuff. So I feel like with her, I definitely have to be like, no, nah, that crying ain't going to solve nothing in here. And and I I mean, I was kind of like that with Kalia. Kalia didn't cry as much as Lonnie. But I was the same way with Kalia. Like, look, you know, you're beautiful. You know, you're you're very talented. People are gonna try to take advantage of you. Let me go ahead and prepare you for the world that is going to try to just rip you apart. Like, the, the world is tough. Life is hard. Mommy's gonna make sure you can survive it. And that's just my way of like parenting. Like, I just feel like with pretty young little girls, the world is just gonna take advantage of them. And that could just be my anxiety talking, that could just be my mom anxiety, like going crazy, like it probably is, but I've seen it firsthand where people will try to take advantage of me just because I'm pretty, or they talk down on me just because I'm pretty, like, oh, you got that position just because you look nice, or you ain't really work for that, you just, it, oh, you just probably went in there and smiled at them and they handed you the job. Like, no, I work my ass off for everything that I have. Like, it, nothing was ever given to me. And then, yeah, there were opportunities where people did try to give something to me just because I was pretty. And I'm just like, like, no, I'm not going for that. Cause then you're gonna try to use that to hold it over me. Well, you know, I, I got you to where you are just because of your looks. Like, no. Nah. Yeah, nah, I get that, but I don't think. I just don't think yelling at them is because they can't get it. I, yeah, I, they I can. They shut down. I mean, she I shut, shut down, down, period. Yeah, but it doesn't help. It's just like, yeah, it's not helping. And you can see that when they, they're they just not talking. Like, Kalani should just start, start wheezing because she's crying. And then she's trying to hold it in and then her. <laughs> yeah. But even if I don't yell at her, that like she yeah. immediately results but to that. That's because she probably thinks she's going to yell at her. So, I mean, I, I get why you like that. Why you, why you do your things your way. And, and why I do my thing. Yeah. But I don't have a problem with it. I just think you're tough. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's not gonna change. No, it's not it's not gonna change. I'm gonna forever be a tough mom. I'm always gonna be tough I love was, is my I was a mama's boy, so I had <laughs> I had a different experience. Yeah, he definitely did. And I'm pretty sure if I had a boy, it I it would probably differ from how I raised my girls and that's probably just from generations of watching just how future yeah, mom. Yeah, like my mom's definitely not as hard as she was on the girls as she is on my brother. 
Like, I will say that, but I don't know. I just feel like girls get taken advantage of so easily that they need that tough love, definitely. Like, you, like and, and not tough love to the point that I'm pushing you away. Like, I, I never want to push any of my girls away. I want them to be open with talking to me. And I'm open with talking to my mom, but I also want you to understand that the world is just, like, I'm going to prepare you. Like, whether you understand it or not, like, I'm going to prepare you for the worst of the worst. And, you know, when you come home crying, you can't say, well, mommy didn't prepare me for this or mommy didn't tell me that the world was going to be like this. And that's how you end up with so many girls that are misguided these days because they didn't have no real mom telling them, you know, what it is and how it is. Like, I'm very honest with my girls. You can only tell them your experience. You can't only tell them their ex your experience. And then they're going to experience, they might experience that and they might get something else that you weren't able to prepare them for. Yeah, that's true. But I'm going to prepare them for what I've ex what I've seen because it's not going to differ too far from what I've already experienced. Yeah. Sight don't change. Still the same bull people out there. But... All right, we're done with the heavy. <laughs> but like we got really, really deep there. God, dog, I'm start sweating. But um, yeah, so I guess I'm done with my list. I'm now, done with my food. Yeah, yeah, I'm done with my food too. I'm full. So yeah, I told you I was gonna leave the, the heavy shit last. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and end this video. I swear we've been sitting here for like 45 minutes just randomly talking. So that is our 10, I hate 10 things I hate about you. 10 things I hate about you. Yep. Dang, 10 things. I don't know what the heck just happened. Huh? Okay, watch Patrol. Okay, I'll come fix it. Alright, we're trying to say bye. Yep. Um, Alright, we're trying to say bye. Say bye. So that concludes the 10 things I hate about you. Mine was like seven and a half. Now I feel like you had your 10. You was definitely um, going in on me, just coming up with random pre vibe pre, pre uh, improvs, I mean, there we go. All right, go sit down. Yeah. I really couldn't think of a list, like, it's just stuff that happens. That just randomly. Yeah, it's like, oh, dang, I hate when she does that. And then I forget about it. Because <laughs> it's nothing big, yeah, so. it's not a big deal. No, it's not. It's definitely not a big deal. Um, it's just part of being a couple. Like we both have our own individual opinions on things, and it just takes compromising. What? You didn't see her? No. She was smiling. Uh oh. Smile, wink. So well, um, that concludes our ten things I hate about you video with our breakfast and a story. Um, we're trying to come up with more topics on what we can talk about so y'all can get to like know what's more because I get used to the camera. I can't speak in front of the camera. You did a lot better on this one, I would say. But it's been nice. It's been wonderful. I enjoy coming on here and just talking. Even if nobody wants to listen. I feel like it's just nice to talk about it. Because mm -hmm. now I feel like we got to talk about things that we don't usually talk about all right well we will see y'all on our next video please uh let us know any other topics y'all want us to sit down and talk about as a couple or as a family you know if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe to the pompon sisters we will see y'all on our next video